everyone, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make this explosion ephemera box. Ta da! <laughs> this is a really fun printable kit from my Etsy shop, and it comes with um, this little mini journal and then um, this little inner box, and these pieces can be cut out and used as tags for other crafting projects. And then this is the outer box, and in, this has more tags. And then inside here, it's also got little envelopes that are filled with tiny ephemera that you can use to decorate your uh, journal. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to be crafting this box today. And let's go ahead and get started once I move all this out of the way. <laughs> Exploded all over. There we go. Okay, so to start with, we're going to be cutting out the outer box. And um, first thing you want to do is fold all the sides along the lines. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I find it easier to start this direction because it's all lined up for you. And you can make the folds a little bit easier that way. And I like to use, uh, this is my bone folder. It's not really bone, it's plastic, but um, it helps make the edges a lot more crisp. So I fold it forward and backward. And just repeat that for all of the lines. Okay, once you've got all of your lines folded, then um, there are some dashed lines underneath each tag. And that's where you're going to make a cut. There you go. And now you can fold those tags over and they'll become part of the sides of your box. Just like that. So I'm going to set that aside. And the next thing we're going to fold is the box lid. So same procedure. We're going to fold along all the lines backwards and forwards. All right, and once all of the lines are folded, then um, we're gonna go ahead and fold tabs A and B, and then C and D, and we're going to go ahead and assemble the box. Okay, so I folded the tabs, and now we're gonna start with tabs A and B, and we're going to assemble the lid. So what you want to do is take the uh, side with tabs A and B and fold it up and over just like this. And then we're going to take this side and we're going to fold it around tab B and then take this side and fold it around tab A. But we're going to go ahead and add some glue to each panel. So then make sure it's aligned. Go ahead and glue it closed. Same thing with this side. Make sure it's aligned. And glue it closed. And then we're going to repeat that with tabs C and D. We're going to glue each panel. and fold it over the tabs, <clears throat> making sure they're aligned. Just 
like that. And that becomes your box lid. And we'll be putting that over the top of our box. So this is the outer box. And the lid will go on top. Just like that. And then when you pull it off, that will create the explosion. Not too difficult so far. <laughs> All right, so next we'll be doing the interior box and we're gonna do the same thing as before. We're gonna fold along all the lines. So once all your lines are folded, then what we're going to do is fold up the edges and we're going to um, pinch this heart like this. And what we want to do is pinch it along the center down to the corner and then make these two sides match up. It's kind of tricky. And you have to kind of pull the box in while you do it. And then we'll repeat it for all the hearts. And I'm going to um, use this to kind of straighten it out and push the fold down. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to just crease the middle of the heart fold. That's nice and creased now and that will become the box that goes inside our other larger box and I'll show you how to assemble that in a moment. All right the next thing we're gonna work on are these mini envelopes and um, a couple of these are pretty easy to fold but a couple are, are a little bit harder so these are kind of self-explanatory we're just folding along the lines here. There we go, square envelopes folded. And now this is the circle envelope. I call it that because it's actually made up of four circles for each corner here, for each side. So it's not actually a circle, but it has circle shapes within it. So same thing, just fold along the sides. And then when you're finished, this side tucks underneath the first flap here. Just like that. Now this is gonna be the heart box envelope and it's got a little bit trickier fold, but um, we're gonna start by folding it on some of the lines here. So this top part folds down like this. And then this corner here folds up to the center of this triangle. So right here. So basically we're folding it on this white line right here. And then what we want to do is fold it down again like this, kind of on itself. So I'll show you that again. Open, fold, fold it this way, 
and then fold it this way. And then we're gonna repeat that over here. Fold it up to create a triangle and then back down to create a triangle. There we go. And we're gonna repeat that on this side as well. And if you're not sure where to fold, just remember to fold it on the line. So then what's going to happen is we're going to uh, bring these corners to the back behind this heart and we're going to glue them into place just like that. Once you have your two corners glued, we're going to fold the heart over it and glue it in place as well. There we go. And then we're going to repeat it on the other side. Take these two corners and glue them in place. and glue it on top. And that is your heart box envelope. And my folds are a little bit wonky. It's important to get the folds really straight on this, otherwise it won't match up quite right. But I think we got it pretty close there. So then that's your heart box and it opens up and stores things inside. So the last envelope we're folding is the um, flower envelope. And this one's probably the trickiest one. And it's good, I think, to have a ruler for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it along all the lines. So start with this line. We got two petals here and a line. Fold it just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold it frontward and backward as well. <clears throat> and then we're gonna move to the next line and do the same thing all the way around. And once you have them all folded, then what we're going to do is this uh, pinch fold. It's a little bit tricky. Okay, I had to look it up because even I get confused about how to do this one. <laughs> so um, you're gonna wanna take your ruler and you're gonna wanna line up these um, triangles right here, kind of in the center of each petal. Line it right at the point of each triangle. And then what you wanna do is you wanna fold just the petal part, not, not all the way across the flower, but just here where the petal is. And then you're gonna to wanna to do that on the opposite side on the other petal. And just do that for each set of petals opposite each other. So line up the two triangles and just kind of make a little crease where the petals are. Now once you've done that, what you want to do is pinch one petal down that crease 
and kind of push it in and oops and fold it to the side just like this and then fold it to the other side as well and then grab the next petal and do the same thing pinch it and fold it to the side and just repeat that for each petal we're just pinching them in the center where you made that crease and kind of folding it to the side. And when you get to this last one, you're going to have to undo the petals here and kind of do that one on its own. And then what's going to happen is this is going to become if you can get them pinched right. An envelope just like that it's tricky I know it takes me a few tries to get it right so don't be frustrated if it takes a little trial and error but when you're done it's a really cute little envelope so to open it you pinch two petals opposite each other and pull just like that and then to close it you pinch two petals and you push and twist and the more you like crease it and the more you do this, the more um, it'll kind of naturally know how to respond when you, when you fold it. So pinch, pull to open, and then pinch, push toward the middle, and twist. There you go. All right, nice job. <laughs> so that I think is probably the hardest, the hardest part of this journal for me anyway. <laughs> so, um, or for, the, for this explosion box. So now we're going to be making our little mini folder journal and to do that you're going to want to take the cover piece and fold it in half just like that and then for the rest of these you're going to actually want to fold them so that the design is on the inside so it's going to be kind of opposite of the way we folded this one. And that's because when we glue these together, this paper is going to be mostly hidden. And then when you open the journal up, you'll be able to see the design. So design on the inside. Once you have these folded, you can just kind of choose the order that you want to put them in. And um, what we're going to do, I'm going to use regular glue for this. And we're going to glue around a folder in a C shape, like the letter C. So you go around the top, down the middle here, and then across the bottom and that leaves this side open so it can become a pocket for ephemera later and then you want to glue the next folder down on top of this so just line it up and, oops. and then press it down to glue it try not to slide it around too much because that's going to make my pocket a lot smaller if it gets glue inside there. <laughs> and then just repeat it. Go ahead and do another C shape with your glue. And put the next folder on top. And then lastly, we'll put the cover on. Same, same thing. C-shape with your glue. Oops, I uh, got some in the middle, which is not good. And 
you go. And we'll just let that dry and then that'll become a little tiny journal to put inside our explosion box. Okay, so now that we've got that done, we're gonna go ahead and glue these envelopes inside our outer box. And I think I'm gonna crease these folds a little bit more. And you don't have to glue these down if you don't want to. You could um, use some of the printable paper to make like a belly band or something to kind of hold them in place if you'd like them to be removable. But I'm gonna go ahead and glue mine inside. will get covered with the little tags. Oh, you know what? I forgot one step. I'm sorry. So once you've completed your um, uh, flower envelope, I've got some little um, petals, little half petals that you can glue to them so that they'll match. Right, and there are light and dark petals, so you can alternate them. And you just line up the straight edges right here and then the curve follows the curve of the flower oh, well. and then that one will go here Okay, and then once you have your envelopes inside your outer box here, you can fill them with the tiny ephemera that comes with the kit. And then you can gift this and somebody can use the ephemera to decorate the little journal. Or if you want to, you can decorate the journal yourself. Once you've filled all your envelopes with the little ephemera, then if you want, you can cut holes in your tags and uh, put strings through them. So I'll show you how to do that. You can do that on these tags, and then you can do it on the tags for your uh, inner box as well. So to do that, 
Um, you can use a couple different ways. I like to use the, the metal uh, tag circles and then a punch. And I'll put a link to one of these below in case you don't have one. And you just line it up, punch a hole, and then I like to push the circle through and then squeeze it. And that creates a little metal circle for your tag. And then you can thread some ribbon through it. And then if you gift it to a friend, they can cut these tags out and use them in their own journals. Okay, so let's go ahead and put it all together. So you take your outer box and then you place this inside of it. And then you place your journal inside here, kind of standing up like this. And then you fold up all the sides and gather them together. And you put your lid on top. There you go. And that's your explosion box. Ta-da! All right, thanks for watching, everyone.